Lying in a cornfield in a tango As red as the devil It was, but it was severed Its crimson fingers stiff as if with anger I kicked it with my toe And it sprang to life, you know It crawled like a red spider a few inches It pointed to the east as if to say, take me there, please. But I thought, don't pick it up, what if it pinches? <laughs> so I grabbed it in the net from as far away as I could get. And off to the east we went, me and this creature. And when a road came into sight, its thumb went up and hitched a ride. <laughs> on a school bus full of Sunday school non-teachers. But when they got a closer look, they all grasped their holy book and said, that hand is obviously Satan. So before we lost our list, I implored them all like this. The hand is red, but what you said is quite mistaken. This is just a case of finding a new species unknown to science. To just crush it or to kill it would be stupid. But up one old hag thundered and said, since I was outnumbered, the hand would have to die and she would do it. Down came her heavy book and blam, the hand was squished like a giant cockroach and totally disgusting. Just like it was spring-loaded, bones, knuckles, and gunk exploded. And they all clapped at this supposed act of justice. But just then there came a fuss from the driver of the bus. And we screeched to a dusty stop right there and then. And when the dust had cleared, we sobbed to see a monster like a blob. How many arms had it? Eleven and hands, ten. What happened next I won't replay, but suffice it all to say, when it was done, the beast and I alone were left to stand. It took a bus seat from the junk and attached it to its stump. So I'd become, excuse the pun, its hired hand. <laughs> and the pay was pretty sweet. I had a house and food to eat. And all I had to do was help it murder people. <laughs> Possession off, please.